Who slept with the windows open this morning? Uh, if you did, you may have been a little chilly. Maybe you had to grab an extra blanket or two because temperatures fell into the 30s and 40s, down to 40 degrees in Lincoln, the coolest temperature it's been uh, since back to May 12th. 39 was the low temperature in New York, 39 in Hebron, 38 degrees out towards Kearney, and, and 38 as well in Beatrice. Columbus coming in at 37 degrees. Some of the coldest temperatures I could find across the viewing area. Lexington down to 35 degrees this morning. Albion, Edison, and Greeley down to 36. And by the way, the coolest temperature I found across the state, 33 degrees this morning in Albion. Albion. Taking a live look right now from Allo Communications in Lincoln. It looks beautiful outside. Hardly any clouds to be found anywhere. Nice view of the uh, state capitol there just in front of the sun as it's getting closer to sunset. Sunset right around 724 this evening. Temperatures around the capital city sitting mainly in the low 70s down to 30, uh, 73 degrees at East Campus. 75 degrees over towards Southeast Community College. 73 degrees, uh, degrees down towards Yankee Hill Road and 73 degrees along Denton Road. The airport sitting at 73. Also the same story down towards B. Beatrice. Generally speaking, lower to mid 70s through all of southeast Nebraska. Now, the dew points are low, meaning the uh, measure the moisture in the air. Anything below 60 feels very comfortable. It's feeling very fall like outside with these low dew points. And that's going to allow the temperature to drop quickly this evening once the sun sets. By 7 o'clock, 68, but after that, down to 62 by 9, 57 degrees by 11, will once again drop back into the 40s by tomorrow morning. I think we'll drop down to anywhere between 43 to 44 degrees uh, in Lincoln, 45 in Seward, same in Beatrice. And our cooler locations, Ord, Greeley, and Albion, likely dropping down into the upper 30s to right around 40 degrees. For tomorrow morning, lots of sunshine around, temperatures slow to warm. By noon, I think we'll be back up to right around 70 degrees. But it's during the afternoon, things will start to jump pretty quickly, especially with the winds out of the south. We'll have some gusts to 18 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon. We'll look for high temperatures to be getting back up to right in uh, the lower 80s. So 81 in Lincoln, 80 in Beatrice, and 82 degrees in Seward. Temperatures just a little bit above normal for tomorrow afternoon. A cold front is coming our way Thursday night into Friday morning. It's not going to do a whole lot except for bring some clouds our way on Friday. There will be a chance for an isolated shower, I think, behind the cold front, except towards Sioux City. Uh, Stormcast suggesting some showers up that direction. Consider yourself lucky if you get some raindrops out of this. I think most of us will remain dry. And then on Saturday, it's going to set us up for a nice Saturday. Uh, we'll start out in the 40s by Saturday morning, rebounding back up into the upper 70s by Saturday afternoon. Sunday right now, if you like warmer weather, temperatures running for high temperatures, upwards of 13 to 15 degrees above normal. So we're talking a high temperature of 86 degrees Sunday afternoon. Seven day forecast again, more clouds around Friday and a little cooler back behind that front. A high of 74 down to 47 degrees Saturday morning. So we're trying to appeal to everybody this weekend. Some cooler temperatures feeling a little fall like on Saturday and then showing we're not completely done with some warmer summertime temperatures Sunday afternoon with sunny skies, a high of 86 degrees. 86 degrees again on Monday. This is before uh, ahead of another cold front sliding through. Not a tremendous drop the way it looks right now for Tuesday, but a high of 81 degrees, 78 degrees by next Wednesday. Computer models are trying to throw a chance for some rain into the area on Thursday. So we'll just call scattered showers right now. Temperatures in the mid 70s and then perhaps cooling down a little bit as we head into the first weekend of October with highs in the low 70s. 